I still remember life before the war. I remember that we used to be different. Used to live up there, on the surface. We used to be the masters of the whole world. We built gigantic cities of glass and steel. We crossed the oceans at will. And we also conquered the skies. There used to be seven billion of us. We were not born for life in the tunnels. I was born to breathe fresh air, and I remember it. The seven billion were wiped out by the last war. Only 50,000 managed to survive underground, with the surface poisoned, burned, and teeming with horrible monsters. One day, the radiation on the surface might subside, and our grandchildren, or their grandchildren, might be able to return there. At least that's what my brothers in arms from the Order believe. Basically, there was no hope for us right off the start. Still, we humans are just too bad at surrendering. We tried to make the best of what we had, banded together, and worked to make the Metro our new home. After all, it might well be the only place left on Earth for humans to live. For a time, we thought we could make it, but, regrettably, the war didn't kill our bad habits. In the relative safety of the tunnels, corruption festered. And when danger came from above the ground, only a few of us stood against it. Our numbers dwindling by the day. But I remember we were born for a better life. And I can't accept that I'm destined to grow old and die underground. I don't care if I'm called an idiot. But if even a single shard of the old world still exists out there, I have to find it. Between endless years of hopeless existence and even a single moment of hope, I must choose hope. I must find that signal.
They're coming back. Attention, people. Oh, look, it's the hero. Mark the Move. lights off. It's nighttime at the station. Don't worry. I told you. I, I got it. I got it. Open up. Go. Where to now? Left across the square. Hey, Demir, do you think the colonel knows what Artyom been up to here? How am I supposed to know? Ask him yourself. He radioed from the ring, said he'd be here tomorrow. <coughs> hey, you, leave him alone. I killed him myself with my slingshot. Let him learn to stand up for himself. Ah, yeah, How right. else can he hope and to survive in the metro? Rise and shine, people. Hang in there, Artyom. You gonna get a fresh dose of Spartan blood now? The doctor said you'll be fine. Are you trying to kill me with worry? What if next time you don't return from the surface? There's no one out there, Artyom. No one to find, no one to talk to. If there was, don't you think they'd be here already? We've talked about this again and again. You have to accept it. There's only us. Colonel! Hello, Alex. There you are, you stubborn fool. How many times are we going to have this conversation? I don't care if you kill yourself over this silly dream of yours. But don't you see what you're doing to my daughter? Your wife? Dad, please. The order is short on men after the battle for D6. But you leave. People need you. And you pursue your selfish obsession. But now this shit has to stop! There's only Metro, nothing else! And the Order is here to defend it! Because if not us, then who? You look fine to me. So, get ready to go. Then, we'll discuss your transfer to Polis. Come, we need to talk. I'll get the doctor. Artyom, please, promise me this was the last time. I'll see you later. Artyom, we managed to bring you back from the brink, but people are giving you their blood, which could save so many wounded, and you keep bringing it back irradiated. Don't you think that is unfair? Let me put it this way. I can't promise I'll be able to bring you back next time. Still, lucky those Spartans are damn good. They brought Archeon here just in time. They sure are. I cannot remember the last time I saw them to help him. Nah, me neither. It's a shame they spend so much time on the surface. Eh, well, sadly, it's their job. <laughs> job or no job, if they keep doing that. Artyom, just try to take better care of yourself, huh? <laughs> Even if you find someone else up there, they probably have their own troubles. So what would contacting them even accomplish? Besides, I remember we used to receive signals from the outside pretty frequently soon after the bombs fell. But not for a long time now. Doesn't that tell you anything? Ah well, it's your life. Artyom, I understand how you feel, but you're not always going to save the Metro single-handedly. Why keep looking for a solution alone? Your friends from the Order came to your help again. The Colonel seems to want you back in the unit. 
Why waste your time in our farming station or out there looking for ghosts? If Sparta wanted me, I'd join in a heartbeat. Uh, in any case, good luck, Artyom. Job or no job, if they keep doing that. Well, <coughs> Uncle Artyom, don't worry. I believe you. Why not? <coughs> <coughs> Will you take me with you when you find the clean place outside? <laughs> and how long do you think they're going to last? <coughs> how many kids are there in the station? In the whole metro? Who will be left here in ten years? Artyom, stop putting delusions into his head. No, I don't want him going crazy years. like you. Which is why we can't afford to have I can't even sleep since you told him all those silly yes. stories. What will we do is that, that supposed to make him better? Like please, leave my son alone. That's exactly why they go up there. They know we can't solve anything by hiding in our holes. The stores are running out. <coughs> There's fewer of us and more of the mutants. And those keep getting larger, stronger, and smarter by the day. Sooner or later, they will you crush us. To pull. Sure, there's nowhere else to go. But maybe I left the order, there and now us. nobody gets to decide for me. As for our I'm not sure we could possibly do with endangered no, ourselves for like this. Are you that? What? Like a broken record. Maybe they found some secret not really maps in these six that went to a storage unit of some Stop kind. It. Something that will save us. No. You I must stop it. There's a comfortable any magic we can solve in the forest. A far cry from this. What do you mean we could survive? The only real solution would be a total evacuation. And it's time you stopped thinking only about yourself. So? What you do you know propose? how short we are and veteran high to say we always do ourselves here quietly. You do must teach no the recruits to come to the end of lives that right. way. At least they're trying. I'm so tired of explaining this to yes. you. Yes. If Dad, not, I won't come know. back without Artyom. And he. Anna, this is madness! Yes, I know it is. Spending so much time on the surface is suicide. Yes, I don't want to lose my husband to radiation. I hate him for killing himself out there like that every day. But what if you consider, even for one second, that Artyom was right? What if he did hear that signal? Would you ever forgive yourself if we let the chance go? The chance to come back to real life. To raise our children outside with sun shining on them. Real sun, Dad. I know I wouldn't. All right. Let's talk it over once more with our view. I must say, though, that even if he did hear some signal that is not necessarily a good thing, we'll talk about it later, though. Not in a public space. <coughs> Deal. My eyes, Artyom. You're all right. You give us a scare, scare brother. Artyom, how are you, friend? I see Pardon you're all me, right. gentlemen, give way. This calls for a celebration. Artyom, a few more scars, and you will be completely irresistible to any woman. Speaking of which, Alyosha, how you are you? Nurse is in hospital, huh? You just stop crowding him. Brother. Welcome back, Artyom. Ah, uh, uh, previous Artyom. All right, you're all dismissed. I give you two hours, people. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a fish. Yeah. I knew it. Guys, I like so I brought something. And here we go again. <laughs> Please, let's not repeat the last Hold time. on, Artyom. Or in a green forest? 
But what good are these fantasies in a silent world? Silent, Artyom? Because it's dead. We took our time. Time to replace our filters. Move it. We don't need any extra radiation, darling. Father will kill me if he finds out I went up with you. Twice if he learns we've been to a Hansa off-limit zone. Have you been to all these ruins? <sighs> See all the destruction. And Moscow had the best anti-air defenses in the country. If this is how it looks now, imagine how the rest of the world looks. should come back to the order. We'll move to Polis. Dad says he'll arrange a flat for us. Because if not us, then who? A flat with a kitchen and a shower. Let's go in turns here. It's not stable enough. Your turn now. Well, I'd say we're out of the woods. Whoa! Hear that? Turn the light off.
as much as they hate us. I really don't get why this zone is off limits to stalkers. The radiation and beasts are nothing special. Stop. The pack is here. So, do we turn this place into Thermopylae, or do we let them pass? Wait it out. Looks like that was all of them. I'm glad they didn't notice us. That was a large pack. Oh, is this why the zone is off limits? I mean, if all the packs here are like that. Give me a boost. Shit. Come up now. I got you. You should have checked first, assholes! Artyom, thank god. These people, they're Hansa, not the Order. Assholes. They did a number on you. Well, Dad will rip them a new one for that. What's going on in this Moscow of yours, anyways? Of yours? You're putting this like you're not from here. We aren't. Our village is about 200 kilometers from here. What village? You're not from Moscow? Just a regular village. We came here to find the boy's father. Left for Moscow about a year ago and never came back. But then we got caught by these here. You mean there's life outside? Why wouldn't there be any? Sure, there are lots of bad places and lots of beasts around, but we still get by. Artyom, you were right. People really do live out there. We didn't know. We thought we were the only survivors. God, we'll tell the whole metro about this. The heck and the boy out! Hey, you people drove us halfway to nowhere. They can handle it. At least give them their masks back. 
Keep your weapon trained on the opening. If anything comes through, shoot. <laughs> What's that noise? Send a group there to seal the exit and pick up the remains. Attention! The turntable is switching off. Oh, Simon. Get out! 
That's about enough of your whining, you old fuck! You're heading straight for the ravine if you don't shut up. Now listen, if you come out of here, we won't accept this shit again, okay? to the base chief for interrogation. I can't take you to the main entrance. Too many guards. But we may sneak in from the back. Let's go. Don't trash though. If they notice you, we are both done for. Wait. You'd better not walk into the light. Let's do it this way. You sneak to the lighting panel and disable it while I distract them. Follow me. Take that letter instead. Yermak! What's taking you so long? The, the shoelace got untied. I'm coming now. Jacket, huh? Distracting him. Look, there's some garbage around. Throw some. Great. Now throw it. Well done. Let's go. Come. Hey! Go through. Hey! Come on. This system supplies air for the command center. It's not that large, actually. Wait for the moment and go through. 
I will, of course, do it again, but uh, I am not much of a fighter, as you could guess. Good luck to you. This yours. They just left it sitting there. We must get out before they recover. Get ready, people. Guards! You have to go sneak through the courtyard. Take the door the guards are coming through. Here, quick! Let's go. Oh, I'm not very cool. Who are you? I'm Andrei Ivanovich Yermak, the train engineer. Run now! Just get to that hangar, then go to the get you out of here. They knew me, so I'll get there easily. Why are you helping us, Andrei Ivanovich? I had... Uh, uh, I guess I'll tell you later. I hope. Uh, hey guys, be careful. Hey. 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 Artyom, I see the enemy. <sighs> Give me a boost. I can't really see well with the snowstorm. Don't forget your visibility gauge, Atyom. If you don't move too fast and don't come out into the light, you'll be harder for them to notice. Don't turn your flashlight on either, they could notice. Oh, 
think you know everything after a week of service. You're 
Who's this? Gotta tell maintenance. Group D, continue patrolling the hangar. Group A, extend the courtyard and generator room. Communications were lost there. Damn, how many guards do they have? They just had to attack now, these fuckers. Now I'll be stuck here for at least a week longer. It's been over a month already. I'm glad to see you here. Are you all right? I'm fine, thank you. All right. We don't have much time. They'll be back. I'll go to the engine. It should be ready now. You go up there Come and switch on, the turntable mechanism on. And please, be careful. We could easily have to hold base on us. Come on, 
Artyom, turn the turntable on. together. Of course, 
Uh, we have to make haste, though. Uh, they called the cruiser. All right, gentlemen. Artyom and Anna have just made a huge mess, and I can't go back to Moscow now. The wartime legislation dictates they'd be killed. In any case, I have to get them out of town until it all blows over. But you all should stay. Hear me, Major? My people are in no way related to it's not my this call and you're not misunderstanding. Well, I'll channel. fight for the guys no matter what. Of course, Artyom, Anna, they are the with us. The no one behind. All right, Spartans, throw these overboard and hold him ahead. Come with me, Artyom. Let's catch the mare. I'm so glad the boys supported us. It looks like my father didn't say a word to them about this either. We spent 20 years in Metro, thinking the rest of the world was burnt to a crisp in the war. But they just circled Moscow with those jammers, and we were none the wiser. How perfect of them! While you were getting irradiated on the surface, my father just kept lying! Lying to you, to me, to everyone! The whole fucking world! And not even batting an eye! Huh? Oh, 
Great job, Artyom. Yes, good job, Artyom. Keep going. Just traitors. We are honest to God enemy saboteurs. 